been like it's been a literal month since I last uploaded that everyday routine video a video that I filmed like early May and it took until June 4th to come out I'm sorry for not uploading I'm sorry for not posting but like before I can take care of y'all and make y'all laugh I gotta take care of me and there's a lot that's been going on in my life there's a lot that's been going on in my life um I don't even know where to begin but for sure, on Memorial Day, the George Floyd incident definitely woke everybody up. And it had me thinking to myself, if it's like making gaming videos, like, is this even relevant? Is this even what I really want to do? Like, there's so many people I saw online, like, you know, rising up against the injustices that we all seen. And... Like, I wanted to be on that side. I wanted to produce content on that. And I wanted to produce content educating people on it. It's, But, like, I don't know. The stress from that time period, which we're still living through, but it was definitely in the most intense beginning of June. The stress during that time was just so much. I remember just looking forward to Last of Us Part Two coming out. I've been looking forward to Last of Us Part Two coming out since April when they announced it would come out in July, on June 19th. Maybe it was before that. And I remember just doing so much to prepare for it. I beat Last of Us 1 in one day to in order to prepare for Last of Us 2. And I played Last of Us 2 for about 10 hours. That game is so dark and depressing. It just kind of broke me. And I didn't want to play it anymore. So like, I have at least 10 hours of footage recorded. The first hour and a half, it, my mic was it wasn't being recorded. So I have to redo that all over again too. So... That's been another stressor that's just been like aversive and preventing me from uploading. I've been really evaluating my life a lot as to what is it that I really want to do. For sure, like where I'm at right now in my career is just not what I want to do. And I'm I realized too during this month of June and a little bit of July that content creation probably isn't it either. Um if it is, it's not in this aspect where I am the video editor and producer and like writer, excuse me, and writer and all those things where all those things are combined in one. Like, honestly, it's really stressful to be in, in this mode all the time. It takes a lot of energy in order to produce these videos. It takes a lot of energy to like produce these jokes. For me, it is. And like it, it takes so much out of me. Like, this has been a cycle that I've repeated over and over and over again since I started content creation in October 2016, where I would go really, really hard for a short amount of time, and I would get very tired of it, and it would be very adversive to continue making videos, and I will stop, and I get back to it, and I would just repeat, 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 repeat. I've even tried, in 2019, I've tried to, like, hire some people to help me video edit, but it's also hard to, like, see someone else take your idea and like try to make it as best as close to what you're thinking as possible and then like still come up short and you're paying for it that like that is really hard to overcome too it's really really hard to overcome there's been some really good people that i worked with and i want to keep them around but uh, overall like even the whole aspect of playing games not for myself but playing it for other people for the entertainment of others it takes and it takes a lot of energy out of me um like, when you guys are seeing me play, like, I'm talking, I'm trying to, like, you know, be upbeat, and I'm being more of myself than I normally am. Like, these past couple weeks, I'm going to say maybe two or three weeks, uh, I've played Minecraft Dungeons completely, completely off stream, could not recording at all, just playing it for fun, just playing it for me. And it's just me sitting in my living room quietly, just playing a game, just enjoying it, not overreacting to things that are happening, reacting appropriately when things happen, just having fun. And it was great. It was there was no stress behind me playing it and I I missed that. I missed playing games offline. So I've taken some time to play some games offline to collect myself to try to find out like what is it that I really want to do in this lifetime? Like well, how do I want to help other people? And I'm not sure this is the avenue for it. Uh, I'm really not sure if being a gaming channel only is the way to do it. At the same time, I don't want to be a political activist, even though I have very, very strong opinions on things that are going on in the world. History has always been my favorite subject, but I don't really want to be a 
activist because I feel like people won't defend me. Um, like I have friends. I don't even want to call them friends anymore. But I have people who have like just in a political way betrayed me. You know, um, like how, like I, I don't understand how people right now find the need to go from Democrat to Republican and become a Trump supporter. That is the most. That is the saddest shit I've ever heard. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, the America is handling, handling, it's like America, Brazil, um, I, I don't know what, what other countries are, are fucking up as bad as we are, but like, we're, we're handling this pandemic like the worst way possible at every angle. We're like, the president of the United States and his lackey ass governors are trying to open up the economy when positivity rates are continuing to rise when people are continuing to sick when death rates are continuing to rise and people still people are actually switching sides to support that like what the fuck are we looking at something like oral type of novel like what is this what is this so i'm really not sure what i want to do i'm really not sure what i want to do i've been um i've been just taking the time to just be with myself, taking the time to remind myself of other things I used to love to do. Like I used to love to write. Um, I used to write short stories, fan fiction, basically, well, not basically, but I used to write short stories mostly around Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, always from a Gerudo perspective because they were the only <laughs> color people, color humans, I guess, humanoids in that era. But it's cool to see representation, see like brown skin people in the game. And so I always wrote stories about them and things from their perspective. And sorry for touching my face so much. And I just want to, I want to get back to those kind of things. I'm not sure if this is just a phase, but it is a pattern that I've noticed over the last four years where I'll go very hard working projects and then I'll take a break. I'll take a month break, two month break, three month break. Cause it's just so aversive. It's so hard to get back into it. Um, and I think I had a really good strategy where I was paying people to do work for me, but like, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. Um, and there's a cost, I have to do like a cost benefit to things like, to like, when I hire people to do stuff, I haven't made a dime off any video that has been uh, on my channel and I've paid people to make at least 10, maybe, maybe 15 videos. So I don't really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I don't know what direction this channel is going to go into. I'm just kind of, I'm just here. I'm just living life. And if you guys want me to relax more and even have videos where I just talk about life, talk about things that are going on with me, I think I'd be happy to do that. I haven't had counseling. I missed my appointment yesterday. So I think uh, maybe I, I should do more videos like these where I just talk about some things that are on my mind. Like for example, um, I'm looking to, uh, work at another company and it is important to me that my morals align with the company's morals and values. And so, um, and it's also important to me that I do not move backwards when it comes to standard living. Like I have to move up, even if it's a little bit, I have to be moving forward because Sally Mae is knocking. And when this pandemic is over, I still got to pay my student loans and they are a really big deal. So I know a lot of you guys, um, if schools are opening up, um, like if those of you who are graduating from high school and going to university, it's like, it's a really scary time right now. I was there 10 years ago, 10 years ago, I was a freshman entering school, but it was not in the middle of a pandemic. So maybe there's some advice that I can offer to you guys there. Aside from that, this is me. That's, that's all I got for today. So I hope you guys have liked the content so far that I've created. Um, I, I do hope you guys have liked it so far. I, I definitely enjoyed making it. There's only one video that it really stressed me out to make, which was the Dark Deception one. Um, I didn't make it. Uh, Flip made it. So that's one of my editors. He made it. It was it stressed me out to no end to make it because I didn't really find the video very funny. But I'll see what you guys think about it when I finally upload it. Anyway, that's been it for my rant for today. And I'll talk to y'all later. If there's anything you guys want me to talk about, just let me know in the comments below. Like any topic at all. Just let me know in the comments below. I think I'm just going to freestyle it tomorrow, pick a topic, and just talk about it. And see where it goes from there. 
All right, that's it for today. Peace.